Hello everyone, it's Officer Kiel and today I'm going to be showing you this awesome song creation. It's the smallest one button toggleable nether portal ever created and it uses only 4 observers, 3 sticky pistons, 2 dispensers, 1 dropper, 1 hopper, 1 comparator, 1 redstone block and a set only one single button. Let's try it out. I click the button and boom, it's on. I click the button again and it's off. As you can see, it's working pretty fast. If you're wondering, the liquid that turns the portal off can be water as well as lava. Now let me show you the redstone. First thing that you have probably noticed is that it's only one block wide, meaning that it probably cannot get any smaller. Now let me explain the redstone to you. When you click the button, this sticky piston with an observer extends and the observer activates a sticky piston with redstone block making a flip flop. Which means that this redstone block activates this sticky piston with an observer every second to click. And this dropper shoots an item into that hopper, which then gives that item back. That pulse is read by the comparator, and since it's a free tick pulse, that observer right there makes two pulses out of this one pulse. And that's the water dispensing circuit. The igniting circuit is much much easier, it's just this observer right there. I hope you're not too confused. Now let's build this. You start with the standard obsidian frame, and yes, you can leave those four corners out, however, there has to be a solid block in one of the top corners, depending on what corner you want your button to be on. I will be showing you how to build the portal with the button on the right top corner. On the opposite side of the portal, on the block where the button is, place a sticky piston facing downwards with an observer with the output on the bottom. Now in the left bottom corner, place a sticky piston facing to the right with a redstone block. Now in the right bottom corner, place a sticky piston facing up with an observer with its output on the top. Leave one block of air and then place dropper by facing upwards with a hopper facing into this dropper. Don't forget to put any item into that dropper. Put an observer block facing down right here and place a comparator on its top facing away from the hopper. Now place another observer block with its output on the side that's touching the observer you have just placed. And that's pretty much all of it. Now you only have to place those two dispensers, put the flint and steel in the left one and the water bucket in the right one. And that's all of it. Let's try it out. It works perfectly. There's also a cheaper version of that. Replace that dropper with a solid block, place redstone dust on top of it, and then, instead of the comparator, put a repeater set on 3 ticks right here. Have fun building it yourself! However, that's the end of the episode. I'm Obisek. I hope you liked this episode and see you later.